really can't concentrate. <laughs> The birds are singing. The birds, randos in the neighborhood. Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. It's a beautiful day outside. The birds are singing and the sun is shining. So obviously it's a great time for a barbecue. And I've partnered up with my friends at Flat Out Flatbread who sponsored this video and collaborated with me to bring you three takes on everyone's favorite food, pizza. Now I could eat pizza any day, anyway, but when it's so nice outside, I'm busting out the grill for every single meal and pizza is no exception. So the key to making your pizza a little bit lighter is to go with a thin crust, choose really flavorful cheeses, and load up on the lean protein and healthy veg. So it is beautiful outside. I definitely don't wanna be indoors all day making pizza dough from scratch. So I love using flat out artisan thin pizza crust. Honestly, these things are amazing. They've got 120 calories each, five grams of protein, two grams of fiber. So they have an amazing base for loading up on those healthy pizza flavors. So let's make pizza. Okay guys, so the first thing we wanna do is preheat our grill to about medium heat. And I'm just gonna get my flat outs out of the bag. And I give one a little spritz with some olive oil in an oil atomizer. So that way you get a nice even coat all the way on top. Okay, so then we're just gonna lay these guys down flat onto the heat for just about two minutes. That's all it takes. Oh yeah, those are beauties. Now we're not gonna grill them on both sides quite yet because we're gonna put all the goodness on top and put it back on the grill so that it'll get toasty on both sides, so you don't worry. All right, now we decorate. First, my barbecue chicken pizza with pineapple and red onion. I throw down a little barbecue sauce onto the bottom of my toasted flat out and top that with some leftover chicken, some pineapple, red onion, pickled jalapenos, and some aged cheddar. All right, so we're gonna pop this back onto the barbecue and just let it go for a few minutes until the cheese gently starts to melt and the bottom gets nice and crispy. Next up, my pear, walnut, and blue cheese pizza. I start by smearing a little ricotta cheese onto the bottom of my flat out pizza crust and I top it off with some sliced pear and some blue cheese. Pop it back onto the grill, close the lid, and let the cheese gently melt for about three to four minutes until the crust gets nice and crispy on the bottom. Finish it off with some thyme, some crushed toasted walnuts, and a drizzle of sweet honey, and bring this baby to mama. Finally, my corn cilantro pesto pizza with tomatoes and avocado. So first, I'm gonna grill a piece of corn on the cob right onto the grill to get some nice char marks before removing the kernels. Then I'm gonna make a pesto by pureeing together some cilantro, some feta, almonds, garlic, and olive oil. I'm gonna add the pesto to the base of our pizza, then top it off with some tomatoes, corn, feta, and return it to the grill for about three minutes. Garnish it off with some sliced avocado and fresh cilantro, and we are ready for a pizza party. Pizza party! Mm. Well guys, there you have it. Three awesome, thin crust, grillable pizzas that are perfect for an al fresco pizza party. If you love this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite pizza combinations. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye!